edoc reduction the first question is what is reduced messaging technique so reduced messaging technique is nothing but to achieve the reduced <coughs> message type so the question over here so these all are you know not very very important and frequently asked question but if you know it will be good if someone sometimes i will ask i will be you know beneficial or in the project requirement also you will come across some scenario where you will have to do such kind of things so what is reduced message type okay so first we'll see what is this reduced message type so reduced message type is nothing but it is created with reference to message okay so if you see the idoc extension created with reference to basic type or idoc type okay but the reduced message type is created with reference to message type right so message type represents the lexical meaning okay semantic meaning on the other hand basic type or idoc type both is same both represents the technical information right so here you can see whenever you have to create the reduced message type it is created with reference to message type right in this we remove or disable you know the extra fields which is which is not required okay so for example over here if you see so here if you go to the transaction w e30 so w e30 is the transaction for idoc extension but when you have to create the reduced message type the transaction is bd53 remember this transaction bd53 is the transaction for reduced message type so here you will have to give the z you know message type red or something like this and when you will create on create button here it will ask for message type reference so for example suppose if you want to reduce the mat mass material master or deb mass right or cray mass whatever the message type if you want to you know reduce you have to give it over here and click on this create button right here you will have to give some description give some meaningful description and then if you click on the ok button such kind of a screen will come okay now when you expand this one you can see that this is in green meaning of green means this segment is mandatory okay if you double click over here here you can see that these two green field that means these two are mandatory green means mandatory the red means here if you select and here if you select red means just simply it is not mandatory and it is optional so if you want to select these two fields also triple bnr and bbsnr these two fields also if you want to select select this radio button and click on the select button okay so you can see that both turns into green so what i did i selected both the check box and clicked on this select button after that you will have to click on this okay button once you do that one both you know now what is this these two just i have selected already their own mandatory field in the big green you know rectangle box is coming whatever the mandatory will not be able to you know remove that one okay so the big green box is not possible to remove because those are mandatory fields so in that 
from that particular segment you know i have selected whatever the required field for me is there similarly here and here so many segments you are having over here under this parent segment so many child segment again under this uh, parent segment you have this child segment here also if you want and you know uh, it's telling that segment this has been already deactivated completely so suppose if you want to select this segment you know put the cursor over here and click on the select button so you can see that it turns into white then double click over here and suppose if you want to select some of the field from here select this one and then you know whatever just select and again click on this select so select command is important over here you can see again it went into green so similarly whichever the field you want or whichever the segment you know you want to have completely you can click over there and click on the select and then you go inside the segment you know you can see that it is in uh, red color that's why it's telling already been deactivated completely so if you want to activate and if you want to be part of the reduced message type put the cursor over here and click on the select so it will be selected now and it turned into white and here it has been turned into green that means this is now part of your reduced message type but not all the fields what are the fields only the mandatory fields at this point of time so ms gfn lifner banks bankl bank and these are the mandatory fields automatically got selected and if some extra field if you want to select so select those checkbox over here and click on the select button now you understood how to create the reduced message type okay so this is what the step you will have to follow in order to create the reduced message type so here it is created with reference to message type in this we remove or disable the extra fields which is not required so remove or disable using the select command right <clears throat> in this we remove or disable the extra fields which is not required here let's write whatever the field whatever the fields are required we use the select command and then you know make that fields the part of what part of the reduced message type so this is what the overall summary how you can you know create the reduced message type and what is this reduced message type so the benefit of this will be that you know idoc has not carry the extra information like whatever the information is required that information is only going to be carried by idoc so that's the the biggest benefit of this reduced message type so this is the question now another question question number 2 in this uh, uh, idoc reduction okay the question number 2 is that uh there can be several questions related with this reduced message type one of the question you know that can you create the reduced message type for g message g message means custom message okay g message means custom message okay so can you create the reduced message type for custom message see generally it is not required but suppose you know if you require to create the reduced message type you know typically it is not possible okay not possible so another question over here is coming can you create 
you know another question over here is coming can you create can you create the reduced message type for all the messages so answer is no right answer is no for all the for all the message type not possible to create the reduced message type then what kind of message type you can create the reduced message type right then what kind of message type you can create the reduced message type for what kind of message type you can create the reduced message type so answer is you know there is a table called tbdme okay bd60 there is a table called tb dme or the transaction is bd60 to maintain that table okay the table maintenance generator the tmg of that particular table to maintain the value is bd60 okay so in table tbdme you know the flag for field reduced message type so there is a field called reduced message type in the you know uh, in, in that particular table okay so this should be enabled so in table tbdme the flag for field reduced message type sh should be you know should be enabled should be enabled so this is what actually we'll have to do it it should be enabled then only it is possible to create the reduced message type okay